Happy spring, Davenport, Toronto. I'm Julie Zerwitz, your Member of Parliament, and this is my Monday video for the week of March the 22nd. Uh, the House of Commons is back in session this week, and there's three pieces of legislation that is finding its way through the House of Commons. Uh, the first is on criminal justice reform, so eliminating mandatory uh, minimums and uh, starting to treat drug use as a health issue as opposed to a criminal issue. We're also uh, moving C11, which is um, more improved protections and enforcements around data. So the collection of our data, who can collect it, and uh, enforcing, making sure that the laws are being followed. And then C-19, which is Elections Act reform, is also finding its way through the House of Commons. So lots happening in the House. On the vaccine front, uh, big news, over 2 million vaccines are going to arrive in Canada this week. So 1.2 million doses from Pfizer and 846,000 from Moderna. And then starting uh, next week, uh, a million uh, per week of uh, Pfizer uh, will be coming. And then uh, in terms of the other um, uh, approved uh, drugs, uh, I don't have the numbers yet, but at the very minimum, we're going to have a million uh, per week after this, after this week. Um, also, uh, Minister Anita Nand indicated that we are finalizing a deal with the, um, the U.S. to have another 1.5 million uh, AstraZeneca uh, come from the U.S. to Canada. Uh, we're hoping by the end of this month, but the deal still has to be finalized. And uh, just to let you know, there was another uh, U.S. trial that's also confirmed 79% uh, efficacy of AstraZeneca against uh, symptomatic uh, COVID-19. Um, the world's attention has turned to the two Michaels uh, in China. Uh, so that's Michael Spavor and uh, Michael Kovrig, who are undergoing a trial that's in secret, that's not being transparent, and where there's literally no access of consular, Canadian consular officials to the two to the two Michaels. So our uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs has put out a um, uh, a statement uh, indicating that his number one priority is the safe return of the two Michaels to Canada, also indicated that the lack of uh, transparency around the two trials is unacceptable, uh, and that um, the thoughts of all Canadians are with uh, both Michaels uh, uh, in uh, in China today and ongoing. Um, I think the other thing we've we've reminded China is that almost 50 uh, country has ha, countries have signed on from around the world to say uh, to ask for the release of the two Michaels, knowing that it's politically motivated and there are no real charges. The last two things I want to mention is today's World Water Day. It uh, basically, uh, it's important for us to highlight this day today because there is growing scarcity around our water. Um, it is projected that by 2050, more than half of the global population will be living in water stress regions. And this is something that we have to take note now and take some urgent uh, steps to address. And finally, the Prime Minister will be making an announcement today on high-speed internet access. So uh, stay tuned for that. Have a wonderful week. Uh, enjoy this beautiful weather and uh, look for, and if you need anything uh, from my office, if there's anything I or my team can do, please feel free to call us at 416-654-8048. 416-654-8048. Thank you.